All right, all right, all right. All right, this weekend I'm working on the interior of the 280ZX. As you guys probably remember, I ripped all of it out, all of the interior out when I first got the car. And since then, I honestly haven't put very much effort into cleaning it up and making it look a little bit better the way that I want it to, like the whole reason that I took the interior out to begin with. And this weekend, I'm finally doing that. I am going to fix all of the cracks in the dash lock the dash, put the dash back in. Uh, slowly but surely, this interior is coming along. Never flocked a dash before, never fixed the cracks, never literally done any of this, just like I say every time. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> Current interior. Floors look gross, but they're actually really clean. Got all the sticky glue out, and this is the car with no dash. A lot of rust I gotta clean up on that, on that main support bar there too. All right, so this is what we're working with. We got quite a few cracks in this bad boy. This is me blocking a hole that we don't necessarily want to fill. And this is a speaker. The, the holes that were over the speaker were like halfway punched out already. So we're gonna put some mesh lining over here and cover all that up as well. This is what we're working with. Um, foam spray from Home Depot for some of these cracks. Epoxy, the kindergarten edition um, popsicle sticks for spreading. We're using some of this screen repair. This was literally one cent at Home Depot. We're gonna use this screen repair for the speaker. See how it goes. Maybe it looks really ghetto and trashy, but we're gonna <laughs> try. Dash walking, fueled by Baja Blast and the burning desire to have my car down. That's a good one. Wow. We let this John boy here for an hour, sand off all the excess, epoxy, whatever holes we didn't fill, and then sand it down again. And then we will start uh, flocking. Looks like it's working pretty well over here so far. Aaron's shaking the whole thing. Not perfect, but these cracks look so much better. So far, it's coming out pretty good. busted speaker hole. Green repair mesh. This was literally one penny at Home Depot. Wait, you're crazy. It's kind of ghetto fabulous, but we'll see what it looks like when it's done. 30 years and three spinal surgeries later, she is pretty much taped up and ready for spray paint and then adhesive. The moment that literally all of us, me, myself, Aaron, and you guys have been waiting for all weekend. Time to flock the dash. I am flocking the dash black, so we spray painted it black beforehand, just in case some of the adhesive or some of the suede fibers aren't able to get in those little crevices. Um, you know, hopefully the spray paint did, and it won't be super visible when the flocking is said and done. Flock it kit. Literally, the website is called just flock it or flock it or something like that. I got the enhanced flock it kit. It comes with a mini flocker. You fill this with your fibers and you like puff it on to the dash after you apply the adhesive. Custom. Is that a wrap or is that paint? Um, it's a wrap. I know, right? Wow. The hands are sold separately, though. <laughs> wow. Woo! Well, I tell you what, that shit looks nice. It looks so nice. No, but it looks like really good so far. I'll be honest, I won't say really good, but like better than I thought that it was gonna look. I just feel like it's like too late. I'm done. 
I'm done. Grab the can again. We'll tune back in 24 hours and see how it looks. That's it. I'm gonna go take a shower or something. Icy Crafts is way cooler when you're an adult. This is sick. Kicker speakers. Yeah. Kicker.